so the idea of the marshmallow test was that uh, young children were given uh, a single marshmallow in a room, and they were asked, you know, or they were told that they could either eat it now, or if they were willing to wait five minutes, they could, uh, they'd receive a second, and then they could eat both of them. Right? And so, uh, and what those original researchers found was that uh, the, the kids who were able to wait for that second marshmallow then had uh, you know, much better uh, life experiences, much better success in life going forward into the future. And the recent criticism is that if you, uh, if you look at, uh, if you control for a bunch of other characteristics, a bunch of other ways that the, the children who were able to wait were different than the children who were unable to wait, a lot of those things like family background, family income, the way that the children were raised, and a variety of other dimensions uh, can go a long way toward explaining those differences in outcomes. So it's less clear whether it was actually that, you know, that particular piece of impatience that was leading to that difference uh, in outcomes. Uh, so I would say I'm not sure that that's a great way necessarily of measuring impatience. And so economists have used other things uh, that, that do have a, where uh, the other measures of impatience that are more robust to those kinds of controls. So a, one surprising one is actually interviewer ratings and surveys. So when, uh, when people take you know, these in-depth surveys like the National Longitudinal Survey for Youth or of Youth, right? These are uh, their interviewers at the end ask them uh, are asked how the respondent seemed to them during the interview, and one of the choices is impatient. And it turns out that if, uh, respondents who were coded as impatient by their interviewers are uh, incredibly likely to engage in. Uh, in a variety of behaviors that are associated with self-control problems. They're more likely to smoke, more likely to drink, less likely to save, all those sorts of things. And those relationships continue to hold once you control for a variety of background factors that were also measured relatively early in those respondents' lives, right? So things like parental income, parental education, uh, the, env the home environment, whether, even things like whether uh, parents were investing in their kids by getting them a library card, whether had subscriptions to magazines, all these kinds of things that reflect sort of how parents are investing in their kids. Uh, even once you've adjusted for all of that, these interview ratings are surprisingly effective uh, at predicting the kinds of impatient behaviors uh, that economists are interested in.